there is one word which I have in mind thinking about this gospel and the word is disposition. Fathers of the Church wrote few times in their commentaries about our disposition which we can learn from the widow in relation to God, others, and ourselves. And we see the widow, we can think, why did she put the, the last two coins which she had? Shouldn't she buy some food to not to starving? But she gave everything what she had to the treasury of the temple showing that way to God that she trusts him very much and that he is her protector. Because as a widow, she was almost without any rights in society, in Jewish society. So she was the one who needed support and protection from others. And as Jesus said, the far uh, the scribes, they used their own statues for their purposes. Instead of helping others, they used it for the honor and richness. And the one who is so poor, the poor widow, now in Jesus' eyes, is the most rich person in Israel because she gave everything what she had to God. How to put it together with word disposition? Widows show us that for in God's eyes not only big things, big deeds, big sacrifices are important but also those small ones in daily life, which often cost us a lot, but may seem like something small. And that those small things are important. But what is difficult is to be ready to fulfill those small challenges in our life when they come to us disposition, the readiness of heart to give somebody help, uh, to do anything what can come, what we need to do for others, for the church, and not hesitate to do it. And it's easy to give help, time, money, when we have it, when we have time, when we have money, when we are in good mood, it's easy to help, to do what we are asked to do. But so difficult is to bring help or to sacrifice or give tithing when we don't have enough time or money or we are in bad mood. And then come to our mind the word disposition, to ask God for readiness when those things come in our life, to be ready, to give positive answers whatever way God asks us to do something. And we think that we are good in those things till they come, and then we fail and we see that our readiness is not so good. And I see in my life how sometimes the daily life and daily problems, they so much occur, take my heart that I forget to completely trust God and answers, answer positively when he asks me to do something. I would like to share with you one experience from last month which, which gave me a lot to think about. 
And I was surprised about my own behavior that <laughs> it's so bad with me. Um, it happened during extravaganza last month when we had the fundraising. And that day I had pretty tough day and I had some difficulties with my credit card and I was thinking about my finances and how bad it goes that time. And I went for the extravaganza and uh, people asked me to buy the raffle tickets. And I said, oh, they are inviting me to buy at least five. I said, no, I will take only two, because I am poor priest. <laughs> and I thought later, why I say such stupid things? Like, <laughs> I am not poor priest. But I saw how this occupation of this, my problems take away the readiness to answer in those small things to buy five tickets for five dollars. And I should buy even ten because it's for the church, but I bought only two. But what was worse that uh, that night I spent about 500 buying in action other things. And it showed me you know, how difficult for, for me to give the $50 for the church without any interest for me. But I spent 500 for the church, but having some interest from that for me. And I saw how, how it doesn't work. It's kind of hypocrisy in my heart. And it happens time to time that God shows me that something is wrong. And what I can do, pray to God, God change my heart. Help me to be open for what you bring and to trust you. And I see that how easy it is to help others to give a lot of money when I have those money. But how difficult it is to do something when I struggle with those things too. But in that time, God invites me much more to trust Him. And against the logic, help others, contribute something. Because He said, test me. You know, test me, trust me. Allow me to show how much I love you and how much I care for you. And it's sometimes difficult for me, and I imagine how much more difficult it can be for you, because you have families, children, much more responsibilities. But in your life too, God is asking you for trust. Trust me and test me, and I will show you my generosity. And I know for sure that you have a lot of experience how many times God answers with his blessings in your life. So let us pray, especially during this Mass, for this disposition of our hearts to be open for the needs of the Church and others, to be good stewards in our parish, in neighborhood, in our families and place of war that our heart may be open for needs of others and that we have enough trust to help against troubles and discouragement which we can meet.